I will lay you two to one. The slave will not be caught. An ounce of gold. Get him! Stop him! Stop that slave! You'll get your ounce of gold. You know the law. Punish him. want to lose his hands. Wait, 
Vidi face! Let me down. What is the price of that slave? He must be punished first, and then he'll be sold. Without hands, he'll be worth nothing. The emperor won't like that, wasting his goods. Well, I'll give you 400 for him. 300 to be paid to the state. I think 100 should be enough to corrupt you. All right? What is your name then, slave? Vivio. And yours, master? Claudius. Go along with the others. Gently now. Let it down easily. Now let's see if anything was broken in transport. They're so delicate, these clocks. No, stop it, Victor. No, I want to know the truth. Why do you treat me this way? Don't insist, Maximus. I tell you it's all over. But why? Why? Don't you ever want to change your mind? Without reason? Perhaps it's Lucius who's made you change your mind. What's the difference? But, Claudia, I love you. That's exactly what makes you so boring. You may go now. Oh, Father, this is the limit. It's a marvel, Claudia, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And just exactly what we need. The house is full of clocks, and none of them keep the same time. This will complete the collection. It's a goodbye, besides. Father. Well, perhaps I didn't pay a little too much, but... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Who is this? He's a new slave. He's as brave as two lions. Vivio, a Dalmatian, age 29, 185 pounds, healthy, educated, quick-tempered, impulsive, and violent. Is it all true? I'm afraid so, mistress. Let's hope he changes his character. Mistress, the musicians have arrived. They await your orders. All right, Sesto. I'll be with him in a moment. Take them in. I'll place them myself. Another feast? You have your clocks. I have my feasts. This way, both of us help pass the time. Soldiers, there's no glory in a wrestling match. Well, what, what? I agree with Sebastian. As usual, Ignis seems to agree with you. You two should get married. Uh, what did you say? What was that? Did I hear that someone is getting married in my family? Ah, huh? <laughs> oh, this is not a laughing matter. Are you going to go looking for the one man like your cousin here? Father. <laughs> by this Sebastian, am I? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, come now, Valeria. Don't look at me that way. Smile. Your man is winning, aren't you glad? Fortune is not always so kind. He was kind to you tonight. I only hope her kindness continues. While your luck's good, why stop? 
Your champion against the slave my father bought today. Sesto, double or nothing? This way you can pay me what you owe me once and for all. I'll do it. Ah. It is I who want you, slave. Mistress? Fight him and win. I've bet a fortune on your head. Now go on and win for me. Well, what are you waiting for? You order me to work, and I'll work. This is what your father bought me for. But I will not humiliate myself to make you or your guests laugh. Well, he has character. Sesto, I want this coward lashed. I don't think he's a coward. In any case, the whip will do him good. You come closer. It's hard to see blood drawn from that distance. Wait. Why did you refuse to fight? Dignity. Dignity? What dignity can a slave have? Same as any man. No man was born wearing chains. Then why do you wear them? Because I objected violently to being unfairly taxed. Then I think it's time you learned obedience. Continue. Come, Sebastian. Wait, how many lashes are left? Seventeen. Here, untie him. No one will count the scars on his body. Sebastian. Agnes. Take me home, would you? I've had enough of these feasts. Seems the more these Christians suffer, the better they like it. Corvino, may we talk? It's very important. When my dogs are fed. Now, what is it? Give me that. You can go. Concerns Agnes. So she won't let you seduce her, is that it? Worse. She knows you love her for her money. No, that's not true. I do love Agnes. I'm afraid that there is someone else, though. Sebastian. But to kill a tribune is a terrible risk. Even for a member of the state police. Who said anything about murder? For the moment, all I want is to find out if she's in love with Sebastian. Can you find out for me? How much is it worth? This is only on account, and when Agnes and I marry, you will receive the rest. Will you do it? I will.
In the sacred name, peace be with you. And peace be with you, sister. Here, lean on me, brother. I will help you. They fight us and they persecute us because they know us not. So it has been since Jesus was crucified. No, that's not the reason. It's because Jesus was too good. They took advantage of him. If I had been there... You would have obeyed then as you will obey now. Do not interrupt me. The Master has taught us to forgive our persecutors. You are late, mistress. I feared that you would not be able to come. Mistress, oh, mistress. In our Lord's church, we are all free sisters. Here we are equals, and you are as my brother. Are you better? Let me take a look. We are the privileged ones, rich in the grace of our faith and our knowledge. It is we who must lead the way, show by our example the road to tolerance and love and favor. Only thus, by following the Master's teaching to the very end, by showing to all the difference between the love for one's neighbor and the fight between brothers, only thus, I say unto you, can we hope to see one day the entire world blessed by the same divine grace which Jesus offered to all of us from his place on the cross. At the height of his agony, brethren, the thoughts of Jesus were for us, his children, his chosen flock. Did he turn to kings, to the wealthy and the mighty? No, for Jesus loved only the humble. What does it avail? Corvino, the Toclato, but you're the last person in the world that I've asked. I thought to see here, you should have told us. All your friends are looking for you. What are you doing here? Why, just what everyone else is doing. Why are you dressed like that? Don't you want to be recognized? What do you mean? I'm not trying to fool anyone. What do you want here? Why, that's Corvino, the right arm of the state secret police. So, you're spying. No, I'm not a spy. I swear, I'm, I'm not a spy. No, that's false. I won't tell what I saw. No, you have my word. No, I won't tell. Have pity, please. No, have pity on me. I won't talk. Believe me, I won't. You bet you won't talk. No, Catullus. No. That will do. No, Catullus. Let him go, Catullus. I order you. Are you not ashamed? And the rest of you who stand by in silence to watch the murder of your brother. You would teach charity and peace with hands drenched in blood. Let Corvino go. Forgive me, brother. Was it the voice of the Lord? It was my voice. Sebastian. Terence told me that you had caught a spy. I didn't wish to be recognized. If I'd known, I'd... Enough, Catullus. It is no longer safe to meet here, brethren. We shall go to the villa at Ponce Hill. prefers these Africans to our Praetorians. It's only natural. The Emperor is a barbarian. Among his barbarians, he's more secure. I guess you're right. Corvino, I've been looking for you for hours. Is this the way you treat your friends? You forget, friend. I've work to do besides yours. I'm paid for it. But what's interesting is that Sebastian is not the one you have to fear. Your rival is more powerful. He won't be easy to fight. We are up against more than a simple tribune. Why? Explain yourself. Not now. We'll speak of this later. Wait outside for me. Corvino, the Emperor will see you. Duty first and friends after. What is it that you want now? 
charge of the Secret Service. The present chief still has my confidence. And beside, you're still much too young. The young have good eyes and keen ears. Palestra, give me the young good, quick. This itch is torture. So, what have you found out? That your orders are ignored. The Christian plots continue. Nah, why should we get excited about a few idiots? Idiots like Lucius Severus? Lucius Maximus, the Edire, even your most trusted advisors are going to these meetings. I have seen them with my own eyes. I tell you, even the ward of Claudius is a Christian. Impossible. You must be mistaken. Claudius is the richest man in Rome. Grant me authority and I shall bring proof. You know what this could mean. I'm sure you know that half of all we confiscate will be yours. But I warn you, if this is the only reason you have for your actions, you'll answer. Put me to the proof, Maximian. All right. You have full authority. If you are capable, our secret police shall have a new chief. How many guards were there? About 20. Who else managed to escape? No one but me. The villa was already surrounded when I arrived. Well, a few of us against 20. There's little hope that we can free them. Free whom? I asked a question. Answer it. Speak up! The Christians. And what do you care? Or are you Christians? Yes. You will end up like the rest of those delinquents. Your cousin Agnes is amongst them. Kill all your friends if they dare touch Agnes. Agnes is tied to the others. You better cover yourself. Someone may recognize you.
Turn the other cheek, brother. Forgive thy enemies. Remember the teachings, brother. Peace. No talent. Patrician with slaves. How could you? To me, they are not slaves, Claudia. I consider them as my equals. I don't understand you. You will, though, one day. You will believe. Yes. Everyone will soon believe words like forgiveness and justice. Justice and forgiveness? Poor Agnes. Poor Agnes. You have no conception of the evils of mankind. I know what goodness means now. And goodness will cure evil. Words. <laughs> your, your trouble is youth. The young always fall in love with words. We are justice. <gasps> oh! <gasps> get out. All of you, get out. And you stay here. I won't let you out of this room. Oh, Agnes. I don't want anything to harm. And the rest, when Agnes is in my hands. <laughs> Lubala's clever, isn't she? Wait, you! Who do you think you are? What do you want, Valerio? No one sent for you. I salute you, Corvino. I see. You're still betraying your friends. I've done my duty as a loyal Roman. <laughs> Another loyal Roman paid for doing her duty. And so what? This girl is a slave of Claudius. And so now we both know where we can find Agnes. Where are you going? I won't let you hurt her, Covino. You shall not hurt this girl. I told you it's not just her gold I love. Don't let him out! Rome. It is not for you to judge the Emperor's actions. Your house is impressive, Claudia. I am sorry to have to come without being properly invited, but I am pleased to have the occasion to admire the place. Corvino, we looked in the servants' quarters and she's not in there. And this floor? Not here either. We'd better look upstairs, too. Corvino! Corvino! The Emperor will regret this. Rome owes a great deal of gratitude to my family and a great deal of money to my father. For the last time, Corvino, give up your warrant or I'll make you pay for this. Why are you so concerned? If Agnes is not in your house, I shall even ask your pardon.
She's not here. Still... I think you'd better leave this house before I have you thrown out. Very well, Claudia. But I'll pray to the gods that we shall meet again soon. safe place. And now there's this persecution law. Where will they go? What will they do? They'll end up in the circus games. I've never seen a lion go after a Christian myself, but my father... Ouch! Get some hot water. My father used to say that there was a world of difference between them and the usual criminals. He said... Uh, uh, well, what is it? Hello, Toquato. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. We have nothing to say to each other. On the contrary, you have a great deal to say. Come along. And don't give us any arguments. But what's the idea? He's going away and he's only half shaved. Shaving's torture for my friend Torquato. He can't bear torture. Can you, Torquato? She's with me. Your friends are welcome here, Vibio. Some of these passageways lead on into the open country, others directly into the heart of Rome. So this is where you people hide. We don't actually hide. We meet here to bury our dead and sanctify our martyrs. Closing old passageways and opening new ones. That makes it difficult for those who would spy on us. There is more light here than in the palaces of Rome. And the air that we breathe is clean and without hatred. Come away. There's Octavio's house near Capua. You'll be safe there. Agnes is safe here, Claudia. She's safe here with us. We have all found peace in this place. You too? A Christian? What are you all out of your mind? If truth is madness, then we are out of our minds, perhaps. I don't understand you. Stay here a while with us. Listen and watch. We shall teach you the joys of our faith. You may find peace, too. Dominus Fopiscum. Oh, 
Christus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi custodiat animam tuam in vitam eternam. Where are they going? Don't worry, we'll see them outside. Please come with us, hurry. each other, the Christians are escaping. Follow me and use your heads. serious.
any in between. In the summer, it's too hot. In fall and winter, all it ever does is rain. Hey, you down there. Here comes your food. the water like that. It'll be eight hours before they bring any more. Are you a Christian? Who, me? No. I can't pay my debts. Then why are you chained? Why, for attempted escape, friend. They drop the food basket and I jump in and ride up with it. The first few times they laughed. I choke up, but not for long. They got sick of me, so they chained me. I'll take your bread. I see you're not eating it. Give me your cape. You stay back to defend me. You risked your life to save mine. Why? Because it's my duty. And of course, my desire. This is absurd. It's a nightmare. But it will all be over in a little while. My father will take me away from this horrible world. Then I'll take my revenge on Corvino and all those who dare touch me. I'll show them. Forgive me. I was only thinking of myself. You know, I'm sure it's the first time in your life that you say such a thing. I'm sorry, Claudius. I've done everything possible, but he won't receive you. I said no one. No one? You don't mean me, Maximian. My money and I have always been allowed free access to your throne. Have you forgotten that, Maximian? You're wasting your time, Claudius. Sebastian's already been here. Your daughter Claudia will go on trial in open court. That's the law. Those are strange words coming from you. If your daughter is found innocent, she'll be released immediately, and her accuser shall answer to me personally. No. My daughter will not go before your judges. Engraved in the forum, you'll find carved in golden letters the names of my ancestors. Do you know how much Rome owes to my family? How much you owe to me? You know that the Empire could not exist without my family's backing. If our money were to be called in, you would go bankrupt in ten days. Watch your step, Maximian. You've made too many enemies for your own good. Don't force the hand of a father, I warn you. Do not drive those you have need of to desperation. When a man is beyond hope, he'll stop at nothing, for his world is ended. You've cut off my world, set my daughter free, or learn how a good friend may become overnight a terrible enemy. I warned you, Maximian. to remove all proof, but it is Corvino's work. He is arresting all your family and friends as well. He's saying that all of them are Christians. It's all over now. They'll kill me as well. <laughs> it's your fault. It's your fault my father's dead. May you Christians all be damned. You're right, it is our fault he's dead.
What is that noise? It sounds like a river. That's the noise of the sewer, friend. Just behind us, behind those stones. You'll get used to the noise of water after a little while. When the Tiber starts into flood, it's like that. Someday it's going to break the wall down and we'll all drown. Look at it. Kettle, help me dig. What are you going to do? I want to drown. Rises, we rise with them. What a fool I was. You know, I've been in this pest hole for a year. It's so simple. I was always afraid the water. What a perfect fool I was. My Jove, I... Kettle. Come on and help. use. We can't make it. What can we do? There's no way out for him. Let's give the alarm. If we call the guards, they'll pull us out of here. They'll just put you in another prison. This may be your last chance. We don't have any alternative. Come on, if we all shot together, they're bound to hear us. There's no point in that. It's too late now. Not for you. You have no change on you. Now you'll be able to escape from this inferno. With the water going up. The water will get you out of here. You wash your sins away with water, I've heard. With water, you can purify the soul, can't you? If only, if only my soul could, could be purified, too. Please. I baptize thee, Tertullius, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.
things, Corvino. What do you want? Corvino, I thought you might need help, so I brought the guards. No one asked you to help. My men will have no trouble arresting Christian dogs. That's true, but what I'm worried about, though, are your dogs. I wouldn't care to have our prisoners killed without a trial. Corvino, hurry, let's head for the water. Don't give up. Please go with the others. Come along. Lean on me. I might have tried to double back. Check the forest. We'll go around the edge of the woods. I'll meet you later. Head towards the south, and God bless you. Quiet now. They won't hurt you. 
They're just too friendly. I prayed that you would be saved. I knew that you would. This way, come. My humble cabin. Come in. Hey, come out of there. Come along. Can't you see we have guests? <laughs> Excuse them. We don't get many visitors. Commander of the Praetorian Guards, fighting to defend the Christians, the enemies of the state. A sorry sight. A Roman tribune fighting in the streets like a common thug. I'm only doing my duty. Why do you interfere? You have one more duty to fulfill, then. I, too, am a Christian. Release him. In the name of the Emperor, your sword, please. 
you owe me? I thought of you as my own son. Who made you the youngest tribune in Rome? Why, I even hoped one day to put you on the throne. To think I'd nourished a serpent in my bosom. And I'm lucky even to be alive, not to have been stabbed by my own Praetorians. I told you I was a Christian. You need have no worry about your safety. Well then, why did you hide your religion like a common thief? Why did you accept my favors while you go on breaking my laws? To help save my brethren. I felt some day that you would understand, Maximian. You felt I would understand what? I am a soldier, and a soldier defends the law, not persons who would try to subvert it. Look, Sebastian, try to understand. Don't be a fool. I'm sure I can offer you a solution. In two days, the circus is going to start. I will call it off, but on one condition, that Christians must renounce their faith before the entire Roman Senate. The high priest will conduct you to the temple for the sacrifice to our gods, and we'll forget the matter. It's impossible, Maximian. All right, then you die. But not like your friends in the arena. Ifatu! Come here. Select a squad of your finest archers and have them tie this traitor to a tree. Shoot him full of your sharpest arrows. I want him to feel the points. Don't shoot at his heart. You will cover his entire body with arrows. Let the blood drain slowly from his wounds. I want this traitor to suffer. Understand? Take him away. Sebastian's attempt to help Agnes has only made things worse. They have condemned all our comrades without trial, demanding they renounce their faith. What about Sebastian? He is to be executed tomorrow. The Emperor is furious. He fears the Praetorians. He knows they love Sebastian and may try to revolt. So the Africans will execute him. Terenzio, Jonah, Catalo, get to Where are you going? To Rome. But Vibio. If you go to Rome, you'll be killed. They'll have to catch us first, and that won't be easy. We must try to save him, Susto. That's the least we can do for him. She must have heard. this audience, Claudia. What have you to say to me? I come seeking justice, Maximian, for I've been persecuted. I've known violence and imprisonment. My house and my possessions have been confiscated. And now I'm again in the hands of your soldiers. I ask you why a high-ranking patrician such as I should pay for a crime which was never committed. I have never believed in the God of the Christians. My only faith is in the gods who watch over Rome. But you helped the Christians. You were with them. I was only trying to save Agnes. I Don't swear. Don't believe It's only her word. That's enough, Corvino. You are free. All your possessions will be returned to you. You've renounced their faith, so I'm satisfied. Rome must know that I always maintain my promises, even as I am stern in my revenge. Do you hear me, Apache? Select anything you like. You can take everything, but you must convince him. And if you succeed, you won't be poor anymore. I shall cover you with gold. <laughs> no. I prefer to keep my head right where it is. All right. If that's all your love means, I'm leaving, Apache. No, wait. 
Why don't you ever talk about anything except gold and jewelry? Why? What do you want to talk about? Love. About love with a man who won't even do me one little thing. Look, just one arrow. One arrow. Suck. And the man is dead. And suppose that you miss his heart. <laughs> me miss a shot? Don't aim for the heart. The Emperor wants him to suffer. Don't shoot him in the heart or any vital part of the body. Let him have time to think and feel the pain. Oh, Lord above, I pray that my sacrifice may serve as an example to Rome. One at a time. You first. May the persecution cease and my brethren of the faith be martyred no more. Our religion must triumph through our words and not through the blood of martyrs. Truth will one day prevail over the ignorance of men. Goodness and justice will rule the world, and men will no longer hate their brother. The last one is for me. Dear Lord, send down thy grace into men's hearts, and let thy heavenly light shine on a better world. One Christian less to give us trouble. Let's go, men. There's wine for all. safe place, the house of Avio, the physician. Cattle, get the strongest men and meet me at the catacombs. Let's go. Sebastian. Avio. It's a miracle you're alive, Sebastian. It really is a miracle. One inch more to the right, they'd have hit the heart. Don't stay too long, will you? He's lost much blood. I'm all right, really. We could go into the garden, but he won't permit it. Why did you come? You're risking your life here. But it's only my life I risk. Tomorrow, Agnes and the others are sure to lose theirs in the circus. I know. It's terrible to be so helpless. But there is something we can do, Sebastian. That's why I'm here. We won't use the catacombs only to hide, but from the catacombs we can dig a passage into the main sewers of the Subura. Then we can reach underneath the circus, and all we have to do is wait. Then what? When the game starts, the noise of the crowd will make it difficult for the guards to hear the sound of our picks. We can dig a hole in the outside wall of the dungeon, take Agnes and our brethren out with us. And if the guards try to stop us... Yes, go on. May God forgive us for what may happen then. Fibio. Fibio, I resorted to violence, and this is the result. My brethren will suffer for it. Don't descend to the level of our persecutors. Don't resort to violence. Promise me. No, I cannot promise this. Sebastian, they can't martyrize us any longer. I can no longer turn the other cheek. We can't let them torture us without reacting. Haven't you suffered enough? What have I had to suffer? How easy it is to suffer when you know that it may show the way to peace, to turn others to our faith. But when will they understand? They will one day. Just have faith. 300 years ago, the same words were said on Calvary, and the day hasn't come yet. Don't bless feet. Forgive me, Sebastian. But I can't wait any longer. I've told you I can no longer turn the other cheek. I'm not a saint as you are. I cannot stand idly by while beasts devour my brothers or the gladiators massacre them. Wait! Violence is not the solution. Vibio, wait! Listen to me, Vibio. Let's leave Rome. Are you suggesting that I run away? Yes. Let's try at least to save our love. It's all I have left, and I don't want to lose that as well. I'm afraid this is no longer the woods. 
This is Rome. In the woods, you love me. But here, you are again the mistress, and I am the slave. But you can't save them. They can save themselves. All they need to do is renounce their faith. We don't speak the same language any longer. Did it ever occur to you that you might be wrong? You would change our world. We have ancient and just laws, and you would substitute the laws of the weak, the, the, the visionaries, the slaves. It's you who create disorder. It's you who provoke violence. <laughs> Forgive me. Listen to me. Don't spill the innocent blood of martyrs on the soil of Rome. You who destroyed the temples of God, listen. No, silence. No, don't come near me. No, you will hear me. I refuse to be silent. You thought you told me that you were dead. What are you, a ghost? Won't even death shut you up? God spared me for this hour. In his holy name, I ask you to spare my brethren. Why spill the blood of these innocent men? Rome is filled with cruelty and sorrow. Why do you wish your name to be cursed forever? Let these people go now. Please, they're full of goodness and charity. Why do you fear men who are good? Why destroy them? Maximian, don't stain your hands with innocent blood. Silence! Isn't it enough to have betrayed us? Arrest him! I order you to arrest him! Maximian, beware. The Lord is just. Corvino! No, Corvino. No.
They're taking him to the arena. Let us go home, mistress. Why don't you speak, idiot? The quarter you're suffering is for nothing. You think you're tougher than we are. No! Vibio, Catullus, and the others, where are they? No! Where are they? He's dead. The fool. All right, who's next? Well, will you speak up now? Speak up. Or I'll have you eaten by my dogs. And they are hungry. They have not eaten in three days. They're starving. Why don't you feed them then? What? The poor creatures must be hungry. Why do you bark like that? No one wants to hurt you. There. Calm down now. Good boys. Quiet now. Quiet. You have no right to treat these poor beasts like this. Come here, come on, boys. Now, now, don't be afraid. I have many dogs at home, but I feed them. I'm sorry I have nothing to give you, not even a crust of bread. I wish I had. Yes, 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 yes. yes. You're very sweet. Ah, oh, if men could only be as nice as you dogs. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Poor beasts. Oh, they're so affectionate. Dirty Christian pig! Ah! Uh, help! Uh, uh. No! Uh. Uh. Your offer is generous. And I want very little in exchange. During the games, you are to get rid of the Praetorians who are on duty in the corridor. So the Christians can escape. You must neither see nor hear, nor must you ask questions. Now, I promise to set Lubala free, if you agree to my request. And I shall also give her a most generous dowry. Get me some more wine. We haven't even offered a toast to our benefactor. I suppose you know how dangerous this operation is. Not any more dangerous than what you did for Sebastian. Should Massimiano ever find out, he'd never forgive you. Is that a threat? Only asking you to think. You know, I like women like you. You know what you want, and you're not afraid to ask for it. What should I be afraid of? Yes, I've always wanted to have a woman like you. You haven't answered me yet. This is quite an occasion for me. Let me go! Don't touch me! Ifache! What do you want? The Emperor wants to see you. What is your answer, then? I will leave the guard and marry Lubala. And with her dowry, I'll build a house bigger than yours. <laughs> Come, Lubala. This house is mine. And I'm going to stay here and wait for you. Divine Maximian, your wishes are law, but still to replace Corvino with an African, to name him the chief of your household. The Africans are the only ones I can trust. The Praetorians. No Praetorian even tried to save Corvino. They've never forgiven me for Sebastian. I'm not going to be struck down by my own men, as Nero was.
find horses and wagons by the Appian Way. We'll all meet there tomorrow during the games. The streets will be deserted. No one will even suspect us. Thank you, Sextus. Providence is sent. With the help of Claudia. She is going to be there, too. Aunt Fauci says he doesn't want to marry me anymore. Oh, no. He says he can't help the Christians anymore either. I don't know what to do. Oh, come. <laughs> the games have begun, Vivio. I can't accept your offer, Claudia. Corvina was killed and I'm a successor. You expect me to help the Christians now, I do you? I you everything I have, Ivan. My home, my belongings, my land, everything. The Emperor has offered more than that. Oh. <laughs> You're too dangerous to let free. Thank you. 
I thought you said this was soft rock. Let's try to pry it. Whoever gets past that line will be pardoned. He who kills a Christian before he crosses the line is free. Kill a Christian or serve ten years in the galleys, the fair exchange. <laughs>
What are you waiting for? You want to spend 20 years in the galleys? Simeon, grace them! Grace them! 